Some for the people, man. Some for the people. Uh, you changed your rhyme pattern and shit. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? I think he was listening to that Luda, though, fucking before he got on stage or before oh. he went to the Oscars, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like slap with a nigga today. Slap, slap. Slap with a nigga Yo. today. <laughs> slap with a nigga today. That's my shit. That was my shit. That, that whole album was my shit. Facts. Facts, though. Uh, I mean, everybody's talking about it, bro. I mean, yeah. I watched fucking Wolf of Ignorance on my way here, and they was talking about it, but... We have to talk about it. We have uh, to address well, it, it. I mean, it's been on your mind. It has nonstop. been. It it's has been. Mind. Yeah, because when you, even when you, by like my my perspective has changed a little bit since we talked about it when it first happened. Because mm-hmm. my initial instinct, my initial response was as a husband. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. <clears throat> and also as a, as I'm that type of husband. I'm a fucking defend my wife. You know, even when she's wrong. You know what I'm saying? If right. the bitch is wrong. I'm going to have her back, and then we get in the car, I'm going to be like, hey, bitch, you put me in a fucking bad spot because of that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know yeah. what I mean? And I'm going to be mad, but I'm not going to do that yeah, in front of people. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait to see it. All right? All right. The reason, the reason I relate you a lot to it is because <laughs> you're probably the only person a, nice I can okay. think of that would do it in front of oh, Barack Obama Richard. or like, yes. you wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. you do it in front of the whole world. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. But also... Wow. I am this type of nigga too, though. I am a pull a nigga to the side type nigga. Oh, okay. Like my wife has fucking, you know. I always fucking make fun of her. Like she's fucking pulled the leash in a little bit. Like when I'm about to fucking, you know, what I mean, like, hey, I got this pit bull, nigga. Don't let me let him go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And she's like fucking pulled it off, and then I'll pull a nigga to the side because I pulled a couple of niggas to the side and pulled their card before. You know. So what do saying? you think Jada should have did that? Jada should have been she like, should've. no, she no, should have. When, when she should have handled this right. Exactly. She should have. Hey, she should have put his hand on her hand on his his hand or something and hey right we'll deal with it later so that asked the question should you be um <laughs> handle the situation with your fist type spouse or come on honey let's just leave type spouse i'm always going to be a handling with my fist type spouse okay it's it's my wife's job well it's my wife's job to control my anger okay well, i guess i asked that question for the woman for the woman, woman for the woman it's 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 my wife wouldn't say let's leave because she's not going to fucking uh, mess wanna, up her good time or, or want to feel punked like okay. like something bad made us get punked. But she's going to if it depend on the situation, she would say deal with it later. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Let's kill him later. Yo, facts. And I would I would have pulled the nigga to the side out out, out where nobody would have seen it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's so many elements. I mean, it is. It is a lot of elements. Okay, do you think that Will lady? Smith. Do you think that lady right there wants to de-escalate anything? No. Oh no, no, <laughs> well, but no, definitely not. Because we're comparing her to the situation. What we do for our, our wives. wives, yes. But if Jada is your wife, yeah, I think that's a different story. It's a different story. It is. It is a different story. I think the difference is the entire crowd, including the audience watching. Mm-hmm. Like Will Smith is the safest black Facts. man in the world, but so the, but but he, that's, he jokes. But, but he's like a comedian. Like he is, but also I think that's because of that stigma. I think Will's a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like LL Cool J often has to let people know, like I'm a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? He has because people think LL's safe mm-hmm. because they his old music was in the '80s when he first came out, so it doesn't sound as Gangster right. now, you he's know crossed I mean? over, he's and he's crossed over, done TV shows and movies mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So people think LL is safe, and too. he licks his lips. He does, and he did a lot of sexy shit, like pause. Not that LL Cool J sexy, <laughs> nah, but nah, you said it, you said it. <laughs> like he did a lot of shit that's like for like for women, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, you know, and he for Blair, cocoa butter on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> he put the cocoa butter on my chest. Yo, you know, what I'm saying? you know, usually I use coconut milk, but. <laughs> I'm going for butter. <laughs> <laughs> but but people think LL and Will's the same way. People think he's soft, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And and I think and I don't necessarily clearly Who's Will, been bashed more than Will Smith? Eminem used to talk about him. Um You know what I'm saying? Know, 50, all, all, the all, of, rappers. all the rappers talk about and him. He never responded. And then this past year probably has been the worst because now they're talking uh, about yeah. niggas fucking his wife. Now you that know they what got saying? memes that time yeah. that and makes it It was always one of those things that they they thought that's what their relationship was. They never came out and said, Oh, we have an open relationship. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's one thing to have an open relationship. It's another thing to have an open relationship with your child's friend. That because if it's Will Smith doing Facts. that. Yeah. 
Facts, yeah. You know? uh, yeah. If Will was fucking one of Willow's friends, it yo, they would have fucking had this nigga as a pedophile, no matter how old the girl yeah, was. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. The so, girl could have been 20, 21, you know, or 20, and they still would be like, no, he's a pedophile. You I think it was saying? just the, the, the kid who gets picked on a lot finally snaps, but yeah. he snapped on the smaller thing. Yes. Yeah. But, that's exactly yeah. what it was. It was straw that broke the camel's back type shit. You I'm know sure, what I'm saying? I'm sure y'all haven't read Will's book that came out about a year ago. Uh-uh. But there's a chapter in the book where he's talking about. His biggest regret in life is not defending his mother when she was getting beat up by his dad. Got you. And he was like, that will stick with me forever. Yeah. You know, I always like, you know, he gets sad because he thinks about that moment. Like, man, I never yeah. got the chance to defend my mom. So the, all that is built up in, yeah. in the root of him. Yeah. And, and true. And so uh, I think that's why he went so hard on the defense of his wife. And also this past year. I'm sure he's bred a bunch of heinous shit. People calling his wife a hoe and blah 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 and a bunch of shit. And but people are still blaming Jada for this. Like the majority of people I see is like, I'm not mad at Will. I'm not mad at Chris. I'm mad at Jada Pinkett. Um, I feel I feel both sides. You know, like I there's so many ways to look at it as a husband, as a man, as a black man, as a comic. You know what I'm saying? Like those are my four like ways to look at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And for me as a husband, it's my wife's job to control my anger because mm. I'm a pop off. And she knows you got to know your husband. Right. Yeah, that's part of why she, you know, she loves you. Yeah. She, she, knows. she knows I'm a pop off. Yeah. She knows I'm a pop off. I don't have no fucking. Uh, there's no countdown. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah, zero to oh, ten. There goes Blair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's but a rap. she's aware of all of that. So when she does it, because I'll come down for her. My mom and my wife are the people I'll like snap back to. And me. Stupid. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I'll like snap back to reality for. You know what I'm saying? Lights are getting low, Blair. <laughs> Yo, exactly. He fucking starts rubbing my head. It's Bobby and doing it. <laughs> <laughs> And so my wife knows how to control that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like that's, that was in that moment. you And she knew that she was the one that set him off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because he was okay. He knew, like, hey, let me handle it. But he looked over at his wife. <laughs> She's fucking pissed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He so, has to go home with this woman. Exactly. And that's exactly what he's thinking. I got to go home with this bitch. It, it, the, the, right. And look at it. And if he didn't do that, then... It would have been more memes like Will didn't defend Jada. Exactly. Will didn't say nothing. Facts, facts. Will, you know, but have... people are upset because it was the, it was an overreaction. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. He, yeah, he should have reacted. Yes, but he could have waited, pulled the nigga to the side, amen, and then sure. And my, my one of my issues is Chris Rock. It's spooky. Yeah, he hit a crackhead. Yeah, facts, facts. You can't you know beat up a crackhead. But head. Chris Rock is from Brooklyn, though. You know I'm what I'm saying? I, I, ex- I'm I expected, I ain't going to hold you. I was a little uh, disappointed with Chris Rock's reaction. You know what I'm saying? He just slapped the shit out of him. Yeah. And then the fact that when he was yelling, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Yo. And Chris Rock was like, I will. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? He's like, I will. Or I am or something like that. I am. Like, like, know, like he bitched up. You he know really what I'm saying? Did. He's like, oh, but he's, he's a little guy. But you know what that reminded me of? That, that reminded me of just an episode of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That was like, a, yo, yeah. That's what I've been waiting for. Yeah, yo, yo, you know? facts. Because he still got his acceptance speech. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It was yeah. like a dramatic it moment. It was, it was. That was that. Yeah. Why you don't want me, man? That's what that was. That's, you know what I'm saying? It was very entertaining. Yeah, it was that. It was, <laughs> it was, man. And it was like so up and down, bro. Like, yeah. Because I got, like, my wife, one time we was out, right? We was out at the bar. Mm-hmm. And fucking, uh, the bar we go to downtown, Alibis, and fucking, this was during the Final Four when Michigan was there and all that okay, shit. Okay. So there's all these Michigan niggas there. They had just one, I think. And we're at the table and these people are standing behind us. And my wife knows I don't like fucking people behind me because I don't like getting bumped and I don't like to not be able to fucking see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Right. So this nigga fucking kept bumping me, kept bumping me. My wife said mid-conversation, bro, she's not even fucking looking at me. Mm-hmm. She's talking to her friend, and she's like, yeah, girl, so anyway, blah, 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 blah. And I was about to fucking elbow this dude. I was about to fucking elbow mm. the shit out of this nigga, dog. And fucking, I went to go elbow this nigga. My wife said mid-conversation, and she caught my elbow. She's like, this is a, yeah, girl, so anyway, I was going to tell him, don't do that. So, like, and I said that. <laughs> <laughs> And I couldn't do nothing but laugh, bro. Cause she out the she corner knew. of her eyes, she's seen it, dog. Cause she saw my like my arm kind of. I was like, 
And I kind of raised my arm a little bit because I was getting ready. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm about to fucking elbow this nigga. He got one more time to bump me. The nigga bumped me again, dog. And I was fucking, and she fucking caught my elbow, nigga. Like, don't yeah. do that. And then kept her conversation going, <laughs> dog. You know what I'm saying? Probably gave you a little look. Yo, you know, right. what I mean? and I just laughed. And, I just and you cracked calmed down up. After yeah, that. and I calmed down because she broke my tension. I yeah. fucking, I couldn't, how could I, how could I not laugh at that? You know right. what I'm saying? That's you hilarious. know what I mean? That's beautiful. Huh? Yo. That's how it should be. Because she's done it to me before. I've popped off. I, uh, I've popped off on people, and she's been like, all right, let's go. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because she's protecting you. Yeah, yeah. Because she always tells me when we get in the car, she's like, especially in San Antonio, she's like, you know, we're here in this place, blah, 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 and, and you're the black dude. Right. So when the fucking cops show up, who do you think going to jail? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you're going to be the... The centerpiece. I'm automatically the aggressor because yeah, yeah. I'm the fucking. I'm I'm not tall, but I'm a big black dude. I'm fat. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm a big black dude. You know what I'm saying? You're a black dude. You know what I mean? Um, and then they see your ID, Blair. This is a fake name. <laughs> <laughs> this is a. <laughs> it's that boy Blair. Yo, um, I get I get relate in the situation mm-hmm. to where uh, I was. I, I handle my situations differently. I'm mm-hmm. always the you know let's let's talk about it type dude. Yeah, or whatever. yeah, yeah. And I felt like my wife would always push me. Uh, you know, you're not protecting me. You should have did this. You should have did that. Yeah. To the point to where I got to the where I need to, to prove myself. I'm yeah. like, all right, oh, all she, right. Oh, you think I'm a punk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Right, we yeah. gonna wait. Let me get this gun. Are we gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was always waiting for that opportunity to show her that. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I yeah, can protect you. I can protect you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I felt like Will had a little bit of that in him. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I felt like he was waiting for, like, all right, this is it. Definitely. Because you, know, you can't protect your wife from the internet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You so can't. He, he probably had to do it publicly. Like he that. had to. He had to. This is his That's way to fire back. Yep. This was, like. And what it was is everybody's upset because it wasn't that serious. Right. It was a tiny little joke. And then it's Chris Rock. You know what I'm saying? Right. And let me ask you this. Like, mm. if you watch it in slow motion, it, it looks like acting. It doesn't look like, if, if you know, if you were to pop off and you're really mad, yeah, you yeah. can tell when, like, yeah. like Will was and, like. And he kind of strutted up there. Yeah. Then fixed his suit and shit and then slapped the nigga and, like, but I do feel the, the after when he turned around, like, because <laughs> I've oh. slapped a couple niggas and when you slap a nigga, uh, slapping the nigga, because everybody's like, oh, how come he didn't punch him? Because he didn't feel Chris Rock as a threat. Every nigga that I've slapped, it's like, I know you're not going to do nothing. Oh, it's, it's even more disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Mike Tyson said, there's two things you can do to disrespect a nigga. Slap him and fuck him in the ass. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Damn, you put that on the same level. <laughs> Goodness. Um, but yeah, you so, right. To emasculate a man, slap you slap him. the shit out of a nigga. So what, what kind of he don't do nothing, niggas... <gasps> And that's how he did. He bitched up. Well, you know you what I'm saying? saying? That, like, imagine the damage that that's probably going to do to Chris Rock. Who, oh, yeah. He's going to... He's, he, he's yeah. now transferred that energy to Chris Rock. I don't know. Chris Rock just sold out a lot of his shows. He lately. did. But he that did. doesn't mean he's not going to he did, he t- And he took the slap very well. He didn't, he like, did. he touch it. his face. No, he, he took it like a... He didn't, he, he didn't even, like, fucking... Like, he didn't even, like, ooh, that hurt or yeah, nothing. Yeah, he was like... But he cried yeah. in the car. I, that's, I'm that's how, sure. Yo, I'm that's how it sure. looked, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It looked like he... Like he gonna cry in the car. And that's yeah. what I mean by slapping a nigga. And the reaction that Chris Rock had, when you slap a nigga... That's the reaction you expect. It's like, I, I know you're not going to do nothing. That's why I slapped you. You know what I'm saying? Just to let you know, hey, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and it hurt because I'm, I'm, Chris Rock is the reason I do comedy, bro. You mm. know what I'm saying? I've said yeah. that on many occasions. Like, Yo, exactly. But not really because Chris Rock's whole thing is, you know, he was bullied, you know, heavy. True. Everybody hates Chris. Like, true, he's been true. bullied. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but. but now he's transferred that energy to Chris Rock. So I feel like Chris Rock, the next time a nigga fucking. Say something slightly aggressive to Chris Rock, he's gonna go off. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because this is so public, and people. But as a as a comedian, as a comedian, I'm like fuck that. You no, know no, what I'm, I'm saying? saying? For Chris Rock, mm. we it's hard to come up with material sometimes. Oh, he got a, he got an hour. So I mean, if he if he transfers it to that, of course oh, he he's, got an he's hour. Getting money, yeah, he got sales. an hour, bro. He's all his shit sold out. It's shit's about to be. Bro. He can do a whole set on bullying. He can. Yep. He, he can really put a hurt on Chris Rock's career because he's that good. Oh, I mean, well, I mean, well, Will, Will Smith. Smith. Yeah, he can. He's that he can. Good. He's that good of a comic that he can. And he can make everybody. He can play the victim. Yep. And he can make everybody hate Will Smith. Will Smith. Like, yeah. Because he's that smart. And he's yeah. That and they already kind of do right now. Some people oh, yeah, do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we're waiting. This, like, it's man. on the people are on the fence. It's, it's like half and half. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? And Will kind of sacrificed his career. 
He did. Well, Denzel told him, he goes, watch out when you're at the top. Yep. That's when the devil attacks when you. Attacks you. And sure enough, boom, he was getting his... And head. the devil, it could be his, his straight up his ego. His like ego. That, that I'm, it's, it's, I'm not going to put up with it anymore. Yes, and everybody's like, that's exactly no, what it was. bro, you're the line at the top. Yeah. Now you kind of have to put up you with You have to shit. put up with this shit. You do. Yeah. You do. So, so what is Will going to do now? What can Will do now for his career? He can't like... Man, he got to be a villain in the movie or something. He's got to save a white baby. He, that's that's what he's all got. he can do. Yeah, that's all he can do. He's got to save a white baby from a burning building. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he might need to chill for a little bit. Yo, he's going to, yeah, he got to fucking, you don't, don't be on socials. Don't be on, you got to disappear for a minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we cancel Will Smith. Nah, he's not canceled. I, it's, it's, it was a, it was a reaction and it was an overreaction. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I wouldn't have done the same shit. I just wouldn't have done it in that fashion. Also, he just came off a plane. Uh, the, what's his name? The father. Yes. Yeah, that could still be in yeah. his psyche. That like, could be. That could be. Like you know how you carry that character Cause, over because his the character. It felt like if that. you ever watched King Richard, did you watch King Richard? Uh, I didn't finish it. It's good, but the character's very. Up and down, you know what I'm saying? Very up and down, very like uh, shitted on, you know what I'm saying? And like, just listen to me, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, type. Fight yeah you everything. know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Even when shit was going good, it was like he was always on the cusp of like fucking it up, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. of his ego, you know what I'm saying? And that shit fucks with, um, with actors. Actors, yeah. I, I feel like Pac was never the same after playing Bishop, you know Some what I'm people saying? say, uh, you think Bishop... Got to him that much? Bishop brought it out of him. I think he was already like, he was. I think he was a well balanced nigga. You know what I'm saying? And, the other side. I, I think Bishop. it was a combination of that and prison. Yo, true. And, and being too. shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that true, was true. Being shot. The, too. Sh- the being shot was probably the the catalyst that that switched his mind. Yeah, yeah. And uh, fucking his wife being dug out by a way younger man was probably. Oh yeah. To have to sit there and be like, I just wanted to feel oh, something. You're yeah, I was like, "What? What do you mean? Feel something? Like, what is yeah. this? Feel filled up? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, we'll just, yeah. We'll check this out. And <laughs> Yo, I, I wasn't gonna say this at first because it's, uh, you know, it's kind of gossip media stuff. But like a long time ago, the August Alcina, like mm. uh, one of his little media things was, um, <laughs> and, and they, he leaked his penis. But it was like mm-hmm. a, I didn't look. <laughs> you look, just say you look, you Bobby. It's, it's all right. Good. But it, was, it said it was like a, you know, 11 inch penis or whatever. Yo, so imagine mm-hmm. that in your head, like, damn, yeah. you know, this 11 inch dick, then that fuck my wife. wife. Fuck my wife, and this nigga's <laughs> packing heat. I mean, Will Smith can't be, you know, he got to be decently packed. He's what, 6'3, Will Smith? Yeah, but it, I you mean, know what I mean? No, I'm no, just no porn star. You know, I'm just saying, just that yeah. in the back of his Facts. head, like fuck, Facts. you know. You know what I'm saying? Am I fucking her better than August? Yo, I mean, true. No. You know what I'm saying? No, no, like, no, you're not. That mm-hmm. would that probably, you know, that fucks with you. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, he's had a lot of shit that he's dealt with, and he's fucking. That was the fucking buildup, bro. And he just yeah. went off, and it was terrible. You know, and people are like fucking. To me, I guess. More people that I see, because I'm watching comic shit, Mm -hmm. and they're taking the comedian approach. They're upset about, it was a comedian on stage telling a joke, Mm -hmm. and somebody came and fucking assaulted him after telling a joke. So they're like, Will Smith's a piece of shit, and blah, blah, blah. I feel you, you know what I'm saying? But I also feel where Will's coming from, too. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, it's like, nigga, you don't talk about my wife, nigga. You got to be ready for the repercussions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, the shit he said last time in 2016 was meaner than the shit he said it this was. time. It was. It was. It was a lot, but they weren't there. You know what I'm saying? So in the back of Will's head, it could have been like, and if this nigga say anything, if he say, you know, yeah. the smallest little thing, yeah, I'm yeah, slapping yeah. this nigga. I feel you. No, yeah. I don't know. I think something was, they don't have the camera on them. When, cause look at him, he's mm-hmm. smiling. Yeah, and, and she's, she's immediately. This is before. This was yeah. this was right after the joke. Yeah, and then if you notice, the audience laughs louder right after this. Look, watch. Look they, at her face. Yeah. They laugh. Yeah, they laugh louder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that was a that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh. Oh. Richard. He called him Richard. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh. Richard. You know what I'm saying? He stayed in character. Yeah, he stayed in character. You know what I'm saying? I thought he probably thought he's going to come up and fix my tie. Fix his tie. And be like, yo, don't talk shit about my. Yo, and that's what I would have been way more gangster. That's exactly. Just kind of put the pressure on him. Exactly. That's what I would have done. I would have went up and fucking fixed his jacket and whispered in his ear, hey, nigga, I'm going to holler at you after this, though. Right. And gave him one of these, uh, one of them hard taps, one of them pop pop. Yeah, so you know. know, So you know, like, hey, you know what's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Will didn't give a fuck. Nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen a slap that smooth. Yo, and then also, 
I feel like it, Rock reacted to it. He tried to block it. You know what I'm saying? Did he? I, or it looked do, like he, or, or looked like he went it. into it. Now he tried to dodge it. And then, because that's why it almost looks like some people tried to say he missed or that it was a fake slap. Uh, but I think it's because he was trying to dodge it. And then his next move, it looked like, was to either swing back on him. Or oh, yeah, because he clinched his fist. Or to spin oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and get away from him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he had, he had a little bit of a reaction. Yeah, he had a, he had a reaction. You know what I'm saying? You know what hilarious if he just would have went, oh! Yeah. And then just kept getting off, <laughs> off the floor. Oh! Yo, my, oh! This is what, what I wanted it. out of Chris Rock. As a Chris Rock fan... I wanted that nigga to fucking swing back on him. That's what I fucking wanted. I was like, ah, oh, come on, Chris. You didn't swing on this nigga. You know what I'm saying? He said, or he's, at least threaten the nigga from the stage. Like, hey, because it sounded like he was going to, and he was like, I could. Mm, yeah, he, yeah. He, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. in our fact, he, he saved black people. Because Will looked real bad, but then Chris looked really good for having composure and staying professional. True, true. So it kind of almost balanced. Yeah, because how they both went nigga. Yeah, like, that's what, that's that's what these see, niggas do. See, that's what Oscar's these niggas so do. Black. Yeah, exactly. Oscar's so black. Exactly, yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, all, the, all the, did y'all enjoy the Source Awards and yeah. all the, yeah. the yeah. tweets like that? Yeah. yeah. It would have been way worse. Yeah, exactly. And I like the other one, just like, there's so many women who did so well, but because of toxic masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. just like, what you mean by toxic? Yo, how do you real. how you say it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it'd been funny if he would have uh, got slapped and just immediately crawled on the floor. It was like, ah, ah. Yo, have you seen really the, the victim? Have you seen? I saw this shit on YouTube. They were like, uh, uh, Sean Wayans predicted uh, Chris Rock getting checked oh, yeah, on stage. Yeah, yeah. Have y'all seen that? Where Diddy comes seen. up and beats him? It's like an in living color sketch. I want to say, okay. and he's yeah. playing Chris Rock, and he's like making fun of all these people. Mm. No, oh, it can't be in living color because Britney in Spears was in it, so it can't be. No, it was the MTV Awards. MTV back in Awards, the day. and he's playing Chris Rock making fun of people, and they all just start fucking jumping this nigga on I stage. Remember that. You know what yeah, I remember mean? yeah. like, oh, oh my god! You know yeah. what I'm saying? I remember. You know Chris, I mean? Hey, Sean Wayans is an underrated impression. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Go play it again. I want to see the the. the. <laughs> so watch the reaction. Mm. Oh wow! Yo, that was quick. You man. see how he like wow. put his arm up to like block because he thought he was gonna hit him again, Will and he was going. Then it was gonna be a fight. Yeah, yeah. But the one hit, Rock held his composure. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That was the Ali training. That was that was quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was pretty. That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> His face. Now yo, I'm serious. Yo, well, look at me. The thing that kills me is Lupita. Lupita, oh. you know what I'm saying? She's from Africa, but she's a black lady for sure. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that face is like, ooh. My wife's name out of your mouth. So you know what I saw this mm. morning? Oh, mm. okay. Amy Schumer said that she was triggered. That was right. And, um, like, I think she might need like some therapy or something because of... Uh, the trauma. She got trauma. Get from the it. fuck out of here, yeah. bitch. But I will say it's fucked up that it took away from the host. Because nobody's talking about oh, yeah. Amy Schumer or Regina Hall or Wanda Sykes. Who, hey, oh, they're the ones that hosted it? <laughs> they hosted it. They were oh, the I host. thought, why did I think Chris Rock hosted That's it? That's what everybody thinks yeah. now, that Chris Rock was the host. He was right. just presenting. Yeah, he just came out. He only a presented an award. He was, no they, wonder. I was like, man, if he would have came out like every single time and then oh. like has a neck brace on yeah, yo, and then comes out with a crutch stupid. and then just keeps... <laughs> Ah, that would have been some hilarious writing. <laughs> that would have been funny, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But he was presenting, you know what I mean? Wow. And, and they were the host. And then Will Packer, who is a black man and does he a lot of black it. movies, he was the producer of the Oscars, and that took away from everything. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, everything that we worked for, yes, it kind of messed it up. It kind of messed it up. Now, you know what I'm saying? And that, as a black man, that's the part I'm upset maybe about. Maybe that's the you conspiracy. Hey, Will, we're going to give you Best Actor, but we need to throw it. We need you to throw Yo. all of Black Hollywood under the bus. Did you Can see my you Facebook do that? Post? Facts, you know. Uh. uh, I just took the lines from Jada Kiss. The uh, you know, why did Halle let a white dude have to let a white dude pop her to get yeah. an Oscar? Yeah. Green Denzel had to go crooked before he took it, and then I said, mm. uh, why Will Smith had to trip before he got his gift? Uh. Is that his first Oscar? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Because so, he it? got nominated for Ali. I think that's it. I think that was the only other nomination. Um, well, I like that conspiracy now. It's just like, yeah. listen, we're going we're gonna to get... And that's what I told my wife. Yeah. I said, that's what they say about, you know, demasculating fucking black culture and shit. You know what I'm saying? And fucking put... That's why they put black men in dresses and, and shit. And specifically, you know it had to be a slap. It couldn't be a yeah, punch. it couldn't be a punch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's something, too. I just can't see somebody whispering like, hey, Will, you want this Oscar? Yeah. You need to slap Chris Rock. Yo, or, exactly. You know, I, I don't know how Maybe that Chris Rock pissed off somebody last time. They're Yo, like, I got to get him. You know what I'm saying? We're going to sit you in front. Like, this nigga won't join us, and he fucking, you know what I'm saying, still continues to be successful. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Then he won't join the fucking Illuminati. We can't get Chris Rock to suck nobody's dick. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna make it all about alopecia. Yo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's Jada Pinkett, man. So I, that's what that's that's my upsetting part. Like as a black man, as a comic, I'm upset about it. As a husband, I get it. I wouldn't have carried it out that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And as like just a man, I'm like, I get it, but I wouldn't have done it like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know what I mean? And I don't think. I don't know. Can't nobody lose it that much. Like Will has to have some type of self control. Well, he was yes. no, he was already losing it when he did his YouTube thing and trying to lose weight. Yeah, and at I the end of it, about that. yeah, he yeah. he quit, and you can tell like he was like, I'm, I can't do this shit no yeah. more. Yeah, he didn't yeah. have the the heart for it. And this is after the whole entanglement. Have, shit. Yeah, and having to sit there mm-hmm. and have you know your wife tell you all this shit on her show. Yes. so she can get more views. views. Yep. And you know what I mean? Like it's just it's putting him in a in a horrible spot. Yeah, he needs yeah. to get away from Jada Pinkett. He it, does it's, it's at time. this point. It, it, he does at this point. You know, I mean, the whole open relationship thing that was always a rumor. I don't know if that was real or if it was just people knew Jada was always fucking around. You know what I'm saying? She gonna have this nigga in jail. Facts, facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Or let, better yet, in the fucking nut house, he gonna be the new man. I think Gibson. that's the problem though with open relationships because where is that line drawn where it's like hey you got to protect my honor yeah. it's like all right you can't like you know what i mean you can't get all the aspects and then go fuck other people too like you know what yeah I mean? so you want me to take care of you financially fucking you want me to still be attracted to you and have sex with you on the regular probably mm-hmm. and also you want to fuck other dudes and right. you want me to be like i'm your fucking protector too get the fuck out that's of here. why you know a, what I'm a boundary for open relationships should be only the man can fuck other women <laughs> <laughs> That's why women shouldn't do it. Oh shit. <laughs> yo, and 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 bring and, it back old school. Yo, huh, <laughs> and for to me, for a man to sign up for that type of shit is a little bitch anyway. Ooh. Like, because I could never, bro. Okay, right. now what if Jada goes up there and slaps Chris Rock? Then she looks like a crazy person. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Who nobody's can't take a nobody's joke? on. Whoa, 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 see, so that's the part. It was just like that joke was uncalled for. The joke was an old joke, G.I. Jane. I mean, it was. It was a super. And old it reference. wasn't really a good joke. It wasn't. It, it was terrible. I that, got, and my wife was like, "That was easy." My, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that was an easy joke. You know what I'm saying? It's something that he didn't write. He probably just said it off the top of his head. It was definitely yeah. a riff. He did. He definitely riffed it. That's what my wife said too. It definitely came off the top of his head. Wasn't scripted. Nobody wrote the joke because everybody was like, "Well, if they were writing his joke, they should have. Somebody should have told him about it." And I don't think he thought it was that big of a deal. Yeah. He was just, I'm just going to address that the fact that she's bald headed and black women go bald headed all the time. They always see black women with their head shaved and yeah. there's nothing wrong with them. They can grow hair. They just shaving their head. A, it was almost a compliment. It was. It was. <laughs> well, I don't know. G.I. Jane was a, a, a flop. So was maybe it a flop? Saying, saying the way I saw she y'all looked talking like, about that. I don't know if yeah, G.I. Jane flopped. Say, saying that like basically Jane, you're oh. never going to win an Oscar. You're not a oh. power couple. So right. I, I think and maybe that. played off the joke he did because, in 2016. Because yeah. also the, the right before that, he was talking about Javier Bardem and, yeah. and Penelope that Cruz. they're a power couple. And that they're a power, they're a power couple. Because uh, I think Penelope Cruz was also nominated yep. for an Oscar. And so was Javier. Yeah. But now Jada's here. On some coattails, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And people have always felt like that, that she's on some coattails, like, you so know what I mean? I guess we can analyze it to make it, you know, more of a, yeah, a low blow. a low blow, but I don't really think that's it was how I, but that's that how serious. I, I first interpreted it. It's like, you're never going to win an Oscar. Mm. See, I didn't take it like that. I thought he was just talking about her being and, fucking ball-headed. And then in that situation, artists are pretty uh, sensitive about yeah. it. And that's know? why I thought she got mad. Not necessarily, mm. it's like, oh, like, balls, it's looked. like, all right, but... Uh. Mm-hmm. Basically, you you ain't shit. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. told you that in 2016. Yeah, and yeah. I'm telling you in a, right. in, a, in a different way. In a different way yeah, now. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. I could see and, that. And Jada's pretty successful. She's had some nice. So, some she's nice had movies. some. She's she's done some decent movies, but nothing. And a recent. successful podcast. You know, she got a successful podcast. All her shit you know what I'm saying? And yeah. she's fucking married to Will Smith. Uh, but like, I mean, out of Jada's movies, I mean, what set it off? You Let's know? go down the list. Matrix. Uh, Was she in Matrix? Yeah. I forgot she She's was even been in that in movie. Two Matrix movies. Um, she, Society. she got in there because Will turned it down. Was like, hey, uh, that's what you, I thought. Yeah, yeah. Menace to Society. Okay, I'll give you Menace. You know what I'm saying? She did uh, Jason's lyrics. J- but Jason's those are all lyrics. fucking black hits. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, what, what else Jada did? Mm. Jada, uh, Jada is a good actress. She's very strong. She did Booty Call. Wasn't she uh, in Booty Call? Not, not in Booty Call. That's oh, that's Vivica that's Vivica Fox. Fox. She was in a uh, uh, Woo. Let's skip that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't she in uh Girls Trip was very good. Very funny. 
Low down, dirty shame. Jada's in Girls Trip. Oh, she is in Nutty Girls. Professor. Yeah, she okay. Girls Trip, I'll give her. Oh yeah, Nutty Professor. The Low first down, one. dirty shame. She did good. Woo! So I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Come on, man. Tommy Davis. She wasn't in. Was she in, in Ali? Uh, yeah, she did have. She, she was played, one of the wives. She was the first oh, wife. Oh, Okay. She was the first wife. And Will got her in that. Jason. I don't remember her being in Annie. I just watched that kind what of recently. What the fuck is this? Jason's lyrics. Bamboozle. Bamboozle. You never seen Bamboozle? <laughs> that's, a Spike, that's a Spike Lee movie. Uh, yeah, it's a must watch. Yeah, it's a must watch. And it's black people doing blackface, so it's not as bad. You know what I'm saying? She's in Men in Black 3. That boy, she has been piggybacking Will a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Look at that. Matrix Revolution. So I guess just set it off is the only one I see her on the cover. She's in the movie with Chris Rock. She's in Madagascar too. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, she's the zebra. Oh, no, not oh. the zebra, the elephant. Uh, oh, yeah, her and Chris Rock play, uh, aren't they love interest in it? They might have been. No, 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 never mind. It, it's the, she plays the hippo, and she's in love with the giraffe, which yes. is the guy from Friends. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I guess she hasn't had, like, I mean, she, she has a... Oh, yeah, and she was in The Nutty Professor, that's right. I remember that. Where a comedian got beat up and she clapped. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's funny. And it was fucking Dave Chappelle. Another my daughter skinny was saying comedian. People were like, he wouldn't have done that shit to Dave Chappelle. He did do it to Dave Chappelle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know <laughs> like what I mean? kind of. Yeah. Um, so I guess she hasn't had like a great no, movie career. No, I mean, hasn't. it's still good. I mean, you know, most people she's, would kill for that career. She's, she's, a, she's B-list. Ooh, B-list. She is B-list. She's a, um, she's a, she's B-list. But it, it makes we can even turn into like, you know, it's harder for black actresses. Oh, to she get, was in Gotham to get those type of roles anyway. To get what type of roles? Just like a, um, you know, like a twenty million dollar, you know, you know what I mean, like a, um, like a Scarlett Johansson type role. Whoopi never had no problem. He's Oprah, color purple. You know what I'm saying? Whoopi was a list. Oprah's a list. Whoopi, Fucking... Whoopi's an a list actress. She was. In her day, I was thinking about that. Whoopi's been in Ghost. You know what I'm saying? But Whoopi's been in a bunch of shit. Whoopi's not an A-list actress. Because I'm just thinking about like Jada when Jada was coming up. You know what I mean? Uh, you had Vivica A. Fox. You had Queen Cameron Latifah Union. was just getting in the game. Uh, you had fucking uh, uh, Stacey Dash was in a lot of those '90s movies and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but black women weren't getting that type of role, with, with the exception of Queen Latifah. And I think also that's from having hip hop fame and then jumping into movies. I mean, that would make it harder for her, wouldn't you think? Yeah, Queen Latifah was the only one that got like consistently, I feel like good roles, you know what I'm saying? Or like movies that did well, you know what I'm right. saying? So we can look at it as hard as it is for black women to fight to get a, you know, like a, a A list role. Chris yeah, yeah. Rock was setting Jada back. He's, he's creating a, a whole thing about Jada Pinkett as a, you know, a bad actress or she you know, I mean I could see that but, but I don't know the, like the back end and, and maybe he just don't you know he sees what everybody else sees is that she's fucking piggybacking on Will you know what I'm saying and she's bringing Will down she's making the is nigga a crazy person on, it's like Jay-Z is she and not? Beyonce they, I mean they but they're, that's equals I think, he's, I think he's just calling it out the way he yeah. called that like okay your career is not there for you to be like I'm boycotting I'm boycotting the Oscars it's the same Bitch, thing as invited. what's you know her what name that got Offered half a million for her special, Monique. What? Mon- Monique. Yeah, yeah. And but people are like, but, oh, that, it's that, that, that can go all the way back to Chris Rock with the nigga joke. Like, he, you know, he's if Jada's saying she's boycotting the Oscars so, because she's trying to get black women, you know. No, it was about it was about Will not getting nominated because Will didn't get nominated for concussion. So that's why Jada boycotted. And the, the that, yeah, or, because or they to boycott. yes, that's why she wanted to boycott it because she felt like the Oscars was was whitewashed. It was too many. Mm. All that I think all the nominations that year for best actor, but doesn't that make Chris like a sellout? To was, say was all white actors. You know what I'm saying? You know right. what I mean? But isn't that a sellout move for Chris to go against Jada? In I that don't moment? think so. I think it's it's topical comic. It, it's he's doing a topical joke. I, I mean, I think he's told people his point of view, especially like when the, on Kevin Hart show mm-hmm. where he's like, "You're black famous." I'm yeah. white famous. Yeah, it's, there's a difference. And there's a difference. And look at who he, the, the round table with him, Seinfeld, Louis C.K., and Ricky yeah. Gervais. Mm-hmm. He's different there. And he's allowing them to say the N word. He, well, specific. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, not Seinfeld, but everybody yeah. else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that's how people, a lot of people look at Chris Rock as a, a sucker. 
You think? And for him to go against Jada in that moment, I mean, I'm kind of like, that's kind of messed up. If she's pushing for something, and then as a black man, you know, you just shit on what she's pushing for. Is but it's like, Jada's pushing for it for what reason, though? You know what I'm saying? She boycotting like I mean I feel the point that he's trying to make. Maybe I feel what you're saying. Like it's kind of fucked up. Like, it's like a completely sell out move. If she if her, I feel her what purpose you're saying. Yeah. is to get you know black people more recognition. And if we got a boycott, and in, let's and boycott. In, true. And uh, in this sense, I'm, only, I'm looking at it from the comic point of view. Yeah. From a comedian point of view, it's like yeah, you're boycotting the Oscars because there wasn't enough black people in the Oscars, but you really boycotting the Oscars because your husband didn't get nominated. You know what I'm saying? But guess what, bitch? You ain't done shit to get nominated for an Oscar ever. So we don't really give a fuck that you don't want to be here. You know what I'm saying? That was that was the point of the joke. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I feel. And but I, guess it's I get what you're saying is he's shitting on, you know, her it trying to bring. a different direction. Yeah, yeah. Situation. No, I get, you, it, I get you. I get you. But It messes up her movement or what she's trying to, you yeah. know, the narrative that she's trying but to But I don't think Chris Rock was trying to like, I'm going to fucking... Derail black women You know what I'm saying I don't think that was the point You know what I mean But that's, that's typical Chris Rock Chris Rock does that This podcast is over dog <laughs> <laughs> That's typical Chris Rock I mean we can go all the way back to Don't the, fucking the, be disrespecting Chris Rock dog The niggas versus niggas joke Which is his most controversial joke Which one that Every time black people have some shit Niggas gotta always fuck I it up I hate niggas But I do hate niggas That's how <laughs> a lot of black people feel Right but it's very controversial And it kinda It sets us back I don't know. The joke is creative, bro. It's because they did it on The Office and it fucked it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And Michael Scott fucking repeated it. You know what I mean? See? Every time, every time <laughs> black people want to have some shit, it's niggas. always some ignorant nigga that come fucking up and it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I'm saying? Right, what you want a cookie? <laughs> <laughs> but from a nigga, he looked like an Uncle Tom selling that The joke, joke is joke. funny. You I know mean, what I'm saying? Okay, but to be fair, I mean, that's the same guy who smoked crack on there, who played a, a woman and... For, and for with Will Smith on Fresh like, Prince, yeah, he played and a woman. SNL play the stereotypical poor guy, just like how about you know for a rib, I'll give you fifty yeah, cents. Yeah, because if we're gonna, because if we're gonna go there, then fucking Eddie's a sellout for fucking doing fucking uh, buckwheat. You know what I'm yeah. saying on fucking SNL in the seventies. You know what I'm saying? That's you know different. what I mean? That's, That's not different. Stand up. How's that different? I mean, sketch is. It's different than you stand up. You stand up. So somebody bring you a sketch and say, "Hey, I want. I need you to be buckwheat." You're like, "Oh, it's different. It's a sketch." You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just take my stand up more personal. Stand up is more personal, but I feel like to portray something is saying you're okay with it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's like, and to me, the joke is funny. You know what I'm saying? Because I I tried to do a joke like that. And that joke came out, and I was like, ah, it's kind of similar. Right. Is my joke I wanted to do is the difference between oh. is country niggas and and hood niggas. Because okay. I feel like all black people got a little nigga in them. It's just some of us know how to turn it off, and there's a time and a place to act a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's how I feel as you know. And I don't know, bro. I feel what you're trying to say, but yeah. I think it's a joke. And what the you know what I'm saying? I mean, because y'all y'all just made me think about that. I'm like, damn, you know, maybe Chris Rock was wrong for. You know, shitting on Jada's movement, and like Jada was being, she was I being. I don't know, um, but but it's like she had a cause, like you know what I'm saying. And Chris Rock she, just but, but did she though? You know, you know what I'm saying? He's almost like he's you know he's taking. But did she have a cause? Her cause wasn't about there's. It wasn't about black women. It wasn't about hey, black women aren't being. She tried to make it about all black people and saying there's not enough black people in the Oscars, which has been a fact for mm -hmm. years. But the fact that she's like, we're not going because Will didn't get nominated. It's like, bitch, we don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I think he and, was just. And Will, and it was for the, uh, and he was shitting on the movie that he did. The, uh, the concussion. concussion. Yeah. He, he, like, he made a joke. Like he, he he further set it back, making a joke of Will's performance in that movie. In Will. that movie. Yeah. yeah. Now, Will's performance in that movie was dope. Even with the accent and it didn't feel forced. It didn't feel like phony. Right, it saying, wasn't like fucking Halle Berry so I can playing understand, Storm. It makes me understand even more why they was pissed. You're like, you shitting on my concussion movie. You know, yeah. we're trying to make a point where, yeah, he should have. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's just got beef with Chris Rock is what you're trying to say? Yeah, Chris and Rock. And he was like, been, oh, this nigga talking about my wife on national TV. Guess what, nigga? Yeah. You know like, what I'm he saying? He was already on the edge of You all want nigga, nigga here now. Yeah, you yeah, know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Will was on the edge of on site. True, true. Oh, like one more little thing. Mm -hmm. if, you say, if you say my name, mm -hmm. but... 
But he was talking about Will before that. But I mean, it, it, I guess in a good light, it wasn't like he was shooting a slug at Will. Yeah, but, the, but you know what I'm saying. He said something about his and wife. And he said something about his wife. And then fucking, you know. And I get it on but, live TV. I mean, I feel you, but not on the night that I win my Oscar. Yo, true. <sighs> and that's what I'm saying. As a black man, that's the part I'm upset about. One, you know, he's getting his first Oscar. You know, not a lot of black men. You, you're you're entering a list. Samuel Jackson got his first one too. And Samuel Jackson's wasn't it like All a lifetime night. award. No, I think it was his first Oscar. For, I don't know what it was for, but mm -hmm. I know it was his first Oscar. Yeah, Dang. no, I heard that, but I couldn't. I because I, I didn't want. I didn't tune in till after I seen. My boys sent me something like, oh, this just happened on Oscars. Oh, yeah. And then I started watching Oscars. You know what I'm saying? I was like, so well, I maybe, saw Will. Maybe that's part of it. Speech. Maybe it's like, damn, nobody's watching Yo, Oscars. Yo, facts. <laughs> Can you just slap them? Yo, they were like, they we need something to happen. Yo, and then fucking, and then for it to be the two black dudes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, no, I saw Batman. What you think? I, I take my hat off. I'm, I'm hot in here for some reason. Well, let's 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 uh, finish this episode and start the next one since this is all okay. All, all one one chunk, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. like, yeah. it's one one topic. Yeah, one topic. We can right. do that. All right. So uh, signing out. Yo, we out. We are gonna do another episode. Something for the people. Uh, we so, got Blair Thompson at Upstage Comedy Lounge. Oh yeah, April twenty second. Make April sure y'all come check me out. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He is the headliner. He's the feature. He's the host. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm the only it's a one man show. show. Nah, it's a fashion show going on too. I don't. Uh, um, yeah, fashion show. Mm -hmm. uh, poetry. Uh, we got a uh, gospel choir coming up. Oh and, shit. Um, step dancing and then Blair Thompson. And I'm gonna talk about how I broke my dick right after the gospel please, choir. Please <laughs> do not. <laughs> Do that joke anymore? Yo, that joke is hilarious, y'all. Oh, you're yeah, a I'm fucking hater. Joke. It's because it's fucking funny as fuck. That is a joke that that uh, you've walked people probably once or twice in your career. No, I've never. People never got disgusted nope. by that. Oh, okay, never. It's never happened. That joke is fucking hilarious. You we know, need, what I'm we need to get a better flyer, sir. What's wrong with the flyer? It's missing information. That people look at it and they, like they get interested, but I mean, four twenty upstage. Is it a comedy show? What is it? Is, uh, chronic laughter. Is it a chronic laughter? A weed fest. Chronic laughter nine. It's supposed to be in the, in the what's it called? I just the it's description. A, it's it's the worst flyer I've seen. What? This is a dope flyer. I mean, it's a cool graphic, but it's missing. You're doing old school flyers where it's just like this is the person and here's their name and everything on it, and yep. then it's like at people don't a, read all that. At least put a QR code or something. Like I mean. I don't know. I don't feel like people, people, <laughs> <Put a QR. laughs> people, are seeing it, people are seeing it and they're like, what is that? <clears throat> I'm not handing out individual flyers, like paper flyers that the description on top should say what it is. All right. We're just, I guess we'll be surprised. No, <laughs> that's what turned out. <laughs> like, and we don't know if it's a, at least hosted by Josh Kabaza, you know, it's chronic after nine on 420 at upstage. I feel like you were higher when you made this. <laughs> or put like 420 comedy show or something. Yeah, you I know what I'm feel saying? Like it needs a little That's bit what on the detail. description it says when you post it. You could just put it right under the 420 comedy show. Yeah. Put the. Oh my God. <laughs> it was a very. You know, you know, Facebook's rule is 25% words. That's, the, that's what you're supposed to have on it. Hmm. So this is 2%. And uh, it's very lazy of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do an old school flyer if you want. I'll do an old school flyer. I mean, you don't got to go out. Just a little more information so that I don't have to like explain it. Because I got it showing at the slide shows and all the weed heads are asking about it. Okay. Well, then it's... Like, what's that? Yeah. Boom. There you go. Perfect. What is that? What they, is that? And you tell them about it. Yeah, I'm going to show That's up. Work I, on don't, me. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to show up, nigga. Yeah. It's got weed on it. It's got an alien. I'm with it. No, I, <laughs> you know I, I, I feel like your audience is very smart and they could put context clues and be like, I'm in a comedy club. What is this 420 chronic laughter? What could it be? <laughs> Yo, facts. Big facts. <laughs> maybe. They should be able to put two and two together. And if they can't figure it out, maybe they shouldn't go to yeah. the show. You as a weed smoker, is that enough information for you to be like, all right, I'm pulling up? I don't know what time it starts. I mean, for me, yeah. <laughs> but I'm a smart nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure it's going to start sometime on 420. Yo, true. You don't know what time. Yeah, I would all put right. the time on there. All right. At least. At least put like 8 p.m. or something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he could have told me this after, but all right. Chronic Yo, laughter. <laughs> I, I, think I, I think I made it. Go a check comment. it out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I made a comment. <laughs> He's just fucking shitting on his. On his. 
<laughs> right on the You just called it the worst flyer. Yeah, that's the worst uh, flyer I've ever seen in my life. I what like, the fuck were you thinking when you did that shit? He was like, no. he was like, you were high. You were high when you made this. <laughs> he was fucking verbally abusing you. You know what I'm saying? You, anyway, you turn that after. You your grade is incomplete. Oh my god! Ain't nobody coming to this motherfucker because of that <laughs> dumbass flyer. You see this stupid flyer and got no info. <laughs> <laughs> mean it like I want you to put every comic on there. <laughs> we love you, Jack. Their names, their Instagrams. Oh fuck, that was funny. He All was right. two seconds from fucking bossing up. You know what I'm saying? It's my goddamn club. Do what I ask. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. <laughs> we just had to talk about that. We got to use it on me, Bobby. Facts. Fuck. Oh, facts. All right, we yeah. out. Red tops at eleven. Oh, we're still on? We're st- oh shit! You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he was trying to promote the show, and then oh. you shitted on it. You oh, know my what I'm bad, saying? My bad. Damn. All right, I didn't out. know that's what he was doing. <laughs> what? I didn't know that's why you put, put it up. up. I thought we was already done. <laughs> no. Damn, I'm so sorry. That's all right. My bad. Go check out the show. Four twenty. Come to four twenty. It's at eight. At eight o'clock. It's at eight. Yo. I re- yeah, I really thought we was done. <laughs>